Bill Maru, Toy Cannons. Yeah, we'll check out Spider Man while we're allowing super glue and to dry and plastic to cool. I think this will work. This doesn't give us a whole lot of real estate here to work with, so I don't wanna go in too far, which it feels like that's not gonna be. Man, I'm surprised. Some of these, some of these movie figures just have little to no room at all to work with. So we have to snap these peg, these uh, screws really short. Um, I did it off camera, but I had to shorten the uh, the Thor screw as well. It's crazy. We'll cut down another. I hate it when this happens. That when it doesn't go all the way through, which sometimes happens. Um, yeah, you know, it's one of those things where we gotta go in and what I would do now, since it's, this is getting so dang small, is I gotta cut it like so, or not cut it, but grab it, and then try to, yeah, make sure you keep gripping it, that helps. into spider-man hopefully we've got like three threads that we can use here this is super small just like not a lot of real estate to use here can't even grip that with my hands barely sometimes all you need is one or two threads though there you go it sticks in there good You just don't have a lot of room to screw in there because, gosh, it's so small. It's like a real little bit of area. But we'll put this in. And I did a video over the, the screw trick before. It might have been on this figure. If not, it was on another Spider-Man. I can't remember. But um, yeah, this will be a nice snug joint too. We'll move over to Gobby, which is fitting right after Spider-Man. Get a good grip on your screw first. Those ratchet joints always drive me crazy. Usually just some something's something's just waiting to go wrong with them, it seems like. So take your bag. screw and drop the screw on the floor that's about right where we want it super glue this nice little dab on there get right there on the edge a little bit I think that should be good. This might have been a little further out, but sometimes it'll just add for a tighter fit. Since it's super smooth and ran, and it's not like rubber on rubber or plastic on plastic, so this will generally give you a nice, smooth, uh, more of a smooth rotation. And then while we're at it, let's test one more on Mr. Stark. Oh my God, with this kind of screw is that the threading is so tiny. And let me see where, 
There we go. Yeah, this had a little more room to, to play with, so that should be good. Take our super glue. Make sure it doesn't fall on Goblin. Should do it. Now we wait for all of our glue to dry and we'll reattach all the arms. Boom. Now we're good to go. <laughs> so we've got Spider Man, who's good to go. Bicep works up and down. Swivel's good. Swivel's good, good <laughs> this time. We got Thor, who is our problem child today. His bicep is good, bends up and down the way it's supposed to now, left and right. Snug, he's good to go. Got Iron Man, he's all set. Works. We got Green Goblin, nice and snug. These don't move up and down as much as I wish they did, though. That's as far as they go. But that's just factory. And then we've got old Mr. Rogers. Good to go. So we are good to go. As always, I hope you learned something. Wow, oh, I sound like an idiot. So as always, I hope you learned something today and keep repairing. Build a room, toy camp.